Yeah. One of the things that make the College of Arts and Letters really special is the opportunities for undergraduate research. I've had tremendous funding, tremendous amounts of support to engage in my passions. I kind of started out my thesis project thinking about what voting day looks like. What does it look like for different types of people around the U.S.? Whether you're rich or poor or have a car, don't have a car, disabled, not disabled. What does that story really look like? What does it mean? And how can we kind of put everybody on the same playing field for a right that's really supposed to be for everybody in the U.S. My junior year, I was able to study abroad in the city of Puebla, Mexico, which has honestly been one of the most foundational experiences of my life. So I was able to do independent field work based in anthropological theories that informed my senior thesis. So I did interviews with African American girls in South Bend Public Schools about their experiences, especially because there's a lot of discourse in our country around the school to prison pipeline and the different ways in which students are disenfranchised. So in the process of making my thesis film this semester, I'm realizing quite how influential every single one of my classes has been up to this point. I decided that I would really bring all of my studies together. My major in theology, my major in German, my minor in medieval studies, and I discussed this with my advisors. I think that working one-on-one -on -one with a faculty member is a really unique experience. They help you think through arguments differently than you would have otherwise. The advising here is, is just wonderful especially the advising within the College of Arts and Letters with whether you're writing a thesis or whether it's the Director of Undergraduate Studies. You have all of this great guidance from people that want to help and that have so much knowledge to share in their field and as mentors. As I was applying to graduate schools, I worked a lot with faculty on my personal statements and they were able to give me suggestions because they really knew me and we got to build that relationship. I really value that kind of relationship because I know that after I graduate and move forward, I'll still be able to come back to those people and share ideas and continue to grow as a person. Being able to meet and get to know your professors really makes me motivated to write a thesis to really just feel good about myself and my own academic experience and my own education. And that's been an empowering experience for me the entire your thesis process because I got to come up with an idea, I got to come up with the methods, and I got to work with a faculty member on how to best execute the study. And with that, I got a project that I'm really proud of and I'm hoping to like show to other people and that's something I can give back to my community. It's made me trust myself more. It's made me realize everything I've accomplished. I think that it feels really cool to have a culminating experience and to say, this is why it was worth it. Look what I can do. Those kind of emphases, those kind of passions that other people have, have really inspired me in my own work. They've inspired me in my research and influenced these sort of passions that will carry me for the rest of my life. Life.